Hi, uh, welcome back to Adumbrae. Um, today I'm doing another, yet another, double replacement reaction precipitation. Um, I'm going to be taking some silver nitrate and reacting it with some sodium hydroxide, so a yellowish cloudy precipitate should form, and that is going to be um, silver hydroxide, which is then going to break down into silver oxide. I'm thinking I'm just going to start calling the show double reactions, uh, double replacement reactions, or, or maybe just Sam takes things, uh, chemicals that he has and makes precipitants with them, because I seem to be doing that a lot lately. Uh, it's, it's still a cool reaction though, and it does demonstrate part of the silver refining process, interestingly enough. So I'm going to get right into that and um, explain it a little bit more in detail then. Since this is an aqueous reaction, you're going to need some water. So I'm just going to take about 100 mils of distilled water, put that right in there. You know, I think I'll go for 200 mils. Get a little bit more visible. There we are. Next, you add in a little bit of silver nitrate. The silver nitrate dissolves into the water, becomes aqueous. I'm just going to use a, a very small amount. I really I don't have much of this stuff left, so. There we go, that's thoroughly dissolved in there. Now we add in our sodium hydroxide. So I've got a little bit of sodium hydroxide in there, and now I'm just going to add in the water. Oh well, stir that in. Okay, and now for the moment of truth. Ooh, there we are. Our breaking down into the much simpler copper, or silver oxide, pardon me. The silver oxide is the much darker color there. So, there we are. That's silver oxide and silver hydroxide. I can't say it's the prettiest. It does look sort of like paint. But to see two clear solutions precipitate out of such a dark and... It, it almost looks like something you would see in, um, well, in a movie, really. Like vomit or gibbs pretty gross. Now the darker colors down there are the silver oxidizing. Now I gotta say, I am I'm very pleased with this. It looks like the skies of Jupiter. Also of note, this copper hydroxide and copper oxide uh, filter I left out a few days ago, uh, the copper has precipitated out of it into extremely fine powder, and that's what's causing this gold-like well, honestly, copper color to form on my filter paper. That's very pretty. All right, so that's all for today. Um, you've now seen silver oxidizing extremely rapidly in solution. Um, and I definitely enjoyed that experiment. I'm going to do some more stuff with silver nitrate if I can get more of it in the future. Also, uh, I showed you some other random garbage, I'm sure, probably the filter paper and things. Yeah, that reaction is quite interesting, though. Um, it has a lot of uses for making unique silver compounds. It's, it's just a, it's an interesting reaction. And, of course, it's a double replacement, so it fits with this week's theme of doing double replacement precipitation reactions. Unintentional, by the way, did not mean to do that. Uh, that just ended up being the reactions I felt like doing this week. Uh, hopefully next week I'll be doing more unique stuff, more complicated things. Uh, anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching.